Hello everyone, Alicia here with another Lightened Up Weight Watcher friendly recipe. And today's recipe is going to be for cranberry pretzel salad. Now I love the pretzel salads. I have a couple of them on my channel already. I'll try to remember to link those up above and down below if you wanna check the other ones out. But since we are in December, and it is almost Christmas. I thought it would be fun to do kind of a Christmassy version of a pretzel salad. So I'm gonna be doing cranberry. Now I've never done this before, but as I said, I love the pretzel salads and I love cranberry. So I thought I might as well combine the two together and do a cranberry version. So I thought I'd take you guys with me, show you how this is gonna turn out, but let me first jump into ingredients real quick. So these pretzel salads are usually pretty easy, not a whole lot of ingredients. For the pretzel crust, what you're gonna need is four ounces of pretzels. It's about three cups, but I would just weigh mine out and do four ounce measurements on mine. Next up, you're gonna need a light butter spread. This is my favorite, the Brummel and Brown. This is the one that I typically always use. I've tried a couple others, and I always just come back to this one. You're gonna need five tablespoons, though, of a light butter spread melted. And then for sweetener in the crust, I'm gonna be using two tablespoons of this Lakanto monk fruit. Classic. For the cranberry part of this, what I've got here is 12 ounces of washed and picked through fresh cranberries. You could use frozen too if you want. Next up, I've got a 0.6 ounce box of raspberry sugar-free Jello. You could also just use two of the smaller boxes the 0.3 ounce. And then I'm going to be using a cup of water and finally a half cup of the Lakanto Classic. For the filling in this, I'm gonna be using an eight ounce brick of Neuchâtel cheese. You want this to be at room temperature so that it blends up nicely. I'm also gonna be using a eight ounce container of fat-free whip topping using the Cool Whip brand. And then again, I'm gonna be using the Lakanto Classic, a half cup of this. And that is everything that's in this, so let me get us started. First thing I'm gonna do is get my five tablespoons of light butter spread melted up in my little microwave safe container here. And then I'm gonna take my pretzels and I'm gonna pour them in a Ziploc bag. Zip that up. And then I'm gonna take a rolling pin and I'm going to just break these up. You could do this in a food processor if you want. I never like to dirty my food processor for a really easy job like this. So I just, again, take a rolling pin and then just break these up into small pieces. Just like that. And I've got my oven preheating to 350 right now. So now I'm gonna take my pretzels and I'm gonna pour them in a medium-sized bowl along with my melted butter spread and that just took 30 seconds in the microwave. I'm gonna add my two tablespoons of Lakanto or whatever type of zero sugar sweetener that you wanna use. I always just like the Lakanto, that's my favorite. So now I'm gonna just stir all of that together really well. Okay, that looks good, and it also smells really, really good. I swear I could just eat this stuff all by itself. But anyway, now I'm gonna grab myself a 13 by nine inch casserole dish, and I'm gonna just pour my pretzel mixture in. Now I'm gonna just spread this out in here as evenly as I can. And then I like to just use my fingers, my clean fingers, of course, and kind of press this in to get it in as evenly as I can. That is looking good. So now I'm going to bake this in my preheated oven at 350 for about 10 minutes. I let this bake for 10 minutes and now I'm going to just let it sit here and cool completely. So probably about an hour or two, I'll let it set to completely cool and then we will work on the next step. My crust is cooled, so now what I'm gonna do in my stand mixer here is I'm gonna add in my eight ounces of cream cheese. And I do have this, it'll come off of there, <laughs> at room temperature. 
And then I'm gonna add in my half cup Lakanto Classic. And I'm gonna just mix the two of those together until it's nice and creamy. Got that all mixed together, that's looking good. So now I'm gonna take my whisk off here and my bowl. And then I'm gonna take my Cool Whip here. I'm gonna add it in and fold it in. I've got this all folded in together. So now I'm gonna grab my cooled crust and I'm gonna pour my filling on. And I'm gonna just smooth this out over the top of those pretzels. I've got this all spread on and I made sure to take it to the edges to kind of create a seal over those pretzels on the bottom so that when I pour my liquid cranberry topping on, it's not gonna seep down there. So now what I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna cover it with some plastic wrap and I'm gonna put it in my fridge while I work on the cranberry part. In a medium sized pot on medium high heat, I'm gonna add in my cranberries along with my one cup water and half cup Lacano Classic. And I'm gonna just stir that all together. And I'm gonna just stir these in here until that Lacanto completely dissolves and I'm gonna bring this to a simmer. So here is how this is looking. It's been simmering about five minutes or so and those berries are starting to pop and soften up nicely. So I'm gonna call that good. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this off the heat. I'm gonna pour in my Jello and mix that in real well. And now I'm gonna let this cool just a little bit, probably about 10 minutes or so. And then I will pour it over my cream cheese mixture. I let my cranberry cool for about 10 minutes because I didn't want to pour super hot sauce over this cream cheese mixture, but it's cooled a little bit. So now I think it's cool enough to pour on. So I'm going to just pour that on and smooth that out in there. Now I'm going to cover this back with plastic wrap and I'm going to let it refrigerate for a good four hours, but most likely overnight. That's usually what I like to do with these. So I will be back probably tomorrow to cut into this. It is the next day. I've got this out. I'm gonna go ahead and um, cut into it. But here is how it's looking. It's all nice and set up. I'm gonna go ahead, cut a serving out of this and then we'll give it a taste and see what we think of it. All right, I've cut a serving of this out, which is a 12th of the total. And that is gonna be five points. I'll show you a little closer up. I'll show you inside too. That'll, that's picking up a little better than the individual piece there. That's what it looks like. Again, it's a serving for five points. We'll go ahead and give this a try and see what we think of it. Okay, got Jarrett here. He can give it a taste first. Hopefully I didn't overcook that crust. If you overcook these crusts, they get really hard. It doesn't seem too bad. No, it's really good. Okay, so thoughts. Other than it's really good? Yeah. Come, well here, give me the, let me try a little bite myself. Now you've had the, um, obviously the berry version of this. Mm -hmm. And then I did a peach version. I thought it was pretzel. It wasn't pretzel. It was with um, waffle cone. But same idea, just yeah. waffle cone crust. So this has got a, it's a little more tart. Mm. There's a little bitter element to it, which I just think is, is the cranberries, right? Mm-hmm. 
What? What? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> there you go. Carry on. Yeah, no, it's really mm, good. That's good. Yeah. I really like that, but I also love cranberry. Sorry about my Christmas clock back there. It's always going off when I don't want it to. Um, I love cranberries. But I think they, um, they're not too, they're not too tart in this. The, uh, Jello, it's got raspberry Jello. I think really I helps. Say, it tastes like raspberry. Yeah. I think that kind of offsets some of that tartness. That and the Lakanto that's in there, but well, yeah. What is that? Cream cheese? Cream cheese that's and gonna, Cool Whip. Yeah. That's going to balance out the tartness. Yeah. That's yummy. I actually think I like this one better than the, uh, triple berry one. No, no not you. No. I think I do. Get out, get out of here with it. I love cranberry though. You don't love cranberry, so. I love you. Okay, that's a good answer. I love you too. <laughs> I mean, cranberry. More cranberry. than cranberry. How about that? You're, okay, well, anyway, you like it. Five points. Mm -hmm. I think the other one might be five points too, if I remember correctly. The other two are probably close to the same. Oh, yeah. All right, guys. Well, that was cranberry pretzel salad. I think it was a winner. I definitely really, really like it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you on the next one.